So this is Chris Jericho's favorite horror film. Also, before we get to anything, I don't know where my Friday the 13th beanie is. So, yeah, right there. Let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Say no to drugs. Welcome back to 31 Mad Days of Terror. As always, I'm your host, the titular Mad, Mad Silence. I don't know if I made it obvious in last year's review of Sleepaway Camp, but I kind of love that film. It's so campy, and yet has some incredibly disturbing scenes and moments as well as some genuinely solid writing. And as you may have gathered from my cold open, I do not have a similar opinion on its sequel. Whereas the first movie is charming because of its weaknesses, this one suffers for them. See, while the original takes itself at least mostly seriously, meaning its flaws are charming, the sequel instead goes the Evil Dead 2 route and becomes a horror comedy. Which would be funny. Which would be fine if it was funny or interesting or still had its unique identity. Except it doesn't. It's a generic slasher film with one or two good kills that uses the comedy as a crutch. But as should be evident from my previous statement, the comedy here is a defective crutch, as it's not funny at all. Oh, and Angela has become as uninteresting as the film itself. Her original characterization was replaced by that of a religious zealot, which might be interesting if we got flashbacks, you know, showing her aunt, brainwashing her even further, like we got with the first film, but nope. The only thing the film really has going for it is her relationship with the final girl. Which is ruined by the ending. I went into the film with an open mind, but it is a slap in the face to the original. Also, if you find the first film transphobic, this one probably won't help considering how far removed Angela is from being the sympathetic version in the original here. But hey, tomorrow we celebrate both Halloween and Friday the 13th with a review of The Babysitter. And it probably won't suck anywhere near as much as this film. Hell, it may even be good. Join me here tomorrow to find out. In the meantime, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, positive or negative, and maybe even subscribe if you haven't yet. But until next time, this is Mad Silence, signing out. Um, four down. I sent the show sisters home this morning. I found them getting high and fornicating with one of the boys. You sent them home? Oh, Angela, talk to me or TC before doing things like that. Oh, like I just did? I don't know. That was good.